Rich, well rested. Uh, is that a good thing? Yeah, I think it's um, it's definitely good for your body. Um, you know, the teams that play on the weekend are certainly going to take a few days to recover. They're probably still in recovery mode, so that's definitely a bonus. But I think that they also get the um, the momentum and the confidence to get off, coming off a win. So it works in, in both teams' favours. But for us, we're, um, we've been preparing well and we're confident in that. Yeah. Newcastle, you just mentioned they get momentum and confidence. I mean, they've won some great games. They've been, been to Melbourne and broken their hoodoo. They think anything's possible now. Yeah, for sure. Um, we were in a similar position a couple of years ago in 2010 um, where we sort of um, came from bottom of the bottom of the eight and um, were able to push our way through through a couple of big teams. But um, you know, we're also, I think, in a lot more of a consistent headspace now, um, finishing top of the ladder and earning the week off. So it's a bit of a contrast from both teams, but it certainly makes for a good game. Mate, you come up against Danny Badiris yep. uh, this weekend. Is he someone that you sort of looked up to when you are coming through the grades? Yeah, definitely. Um, He's one of the best hookers that's played rugby league, I think. So um, he, he showed that the other night. It was really good against Storm. And um, yeah, looking forward to the battle this weekend. It's a danger game, really, isn't it? Newcastle sort of playing pretty free, you know, pretty confident. Yeah. They're just going in with nothing to lose. A lot of pressure on you guys, really. Yeah, um, yeah, definitely. We're, we, wa we all watched them on the weekend, and um, they were um, impressive. And um, they're going to be a tough game this weekend. So. Um, We'll just stick to what we've been doing all year and hopefully um, pays off this weekend. No such thing as an easy game, but you know they, they are supposedly the weakest team in the in the final series. You buy that? No, I don't buy that. Um, they've obviously proven they should be here. They've beaten some good teams along the way, so um, yeah, we're ready for a tough battle on, on Saturday. We feel fresh. Obviously, we've had a light week and, and the weekend off, but um, everyone's pumped, so um, Big games like this, it's not hard to get up for, so everyone um, I'm sure will be ready come Saturday. Tell us about, um, tell us about SBW because uh, from the outside looking, he's a great individual athlete. He, he appears to operate kind of a mercenary. Yeah. Does he bring something to the team in terms of uh, talk and what he adds to it? Yeah, Sonny's been great. There's obviously a lot written about him and, and spoke about him, but um, he did an interview the other week on Channel 9. I think that was probably one of the most accurate things of, of the way he is. He's, he's, um, He's a very genuine bloke and um, very humble sort of person. That's not not a show. That's generally how he is, and he's uh, he's just a guy that just wants to be the best he can be. He um, he trains hard. He lives his life the right way, and um, yeah, there's there's no sort of um, mask in that. That's just how he is, and um, I think as as a as an influential figure like he is, I think that um, rubs up on everyone else. And, Without him saying too much, it just makes you want to follow him and certainly been a great asset for us. Tell you, what's your gut thoughts on if um, Boyd will play or not? Um, he's been doing everything possible, so this week I suppose will be the... the um, like he'll have to pass all these fitness tests and, and we'll see, but he's going to try and do everything possible, but they're, they're just not sure yet. Is it hard to keep a lid on it, knowing that you're just eight minutes away from the grand final? It's really exciting, but I think um, we've got a great coach, and they sort of know how to level you out pretty well. And um, you know, we've we've been thinking about this for a while now, and preparing towards this top part of the year. So we feel um, like we trust our preparation and um, trust our, our our video sessions, and the way we prepare for each game's normally uh, been working for us. So we just got to keep doing that.